So there's definitely some pooling of resources coming through here. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. And the Five of Pentacles, I'm going to relay the first message that I'm, I'm feeling here. I feel that a lot of you are trying to work together as a unit and pulling your resources together. So this could be a significant other, like a love relationship, or even pulling your, your uh, finances with another person in order to, you know, get a, a project off the ground, get a business started, or uh, getting something started. I do feel that at this point, a lot of you might be feeling as if you're short on finances. You feel like you might not have enough to either purchase a property. Um, I'm feeling like, or start that business or even, you know, purchase or even like start up something. You have planned something and you're trying to implement it and you're trying to like pull your resources to get it off the ground. You're reaching the point where you feel as if you might not have money, enough money in order to do that. So a lot of you might be looking at a lending institution in order for you to procure more finances to get the plan, the project off the ground. You might be seeing a financial consultant. You might also be talking to a lawyer or like a, a mortgage officer, a loan officer in order to get, you know, some paperwork started. Um, you're seeking somebody for help in order to get this financial situation, you know, churning along in the way that you'd like. The other side of this is the five of pentacles indicate some type of a, um, I guess like financial crisis. The other cards don't indicate to me a financial crisis. I just feel that you and your, another person might be pulling your resources to start something new. It's not that you're struggling, but it can also indicate like, you know, falling short in finances and finances not panning out the way that we'd hope okay but you're you're being helped here by either a consultant or somebody is coming in in order to help you what i'm also feeling is i do feel for a lot of you you are dealing with an air sign aquarius gemini libra i do feel that this is a very karmic relationship and i feel it is a negative karmic relationship it has been very problematic I feel that both of you have adequately learned your lessons from one another. And I do feel that it is time for you both to basically, you know, move on ahead. I feel this might be the person that you're telling off. And I do feel that this is a situation where you're getting a lot of signs and signals that they might not have been faithful. And you stuck with it because... I actually don't know. There are a myriad of reasons why you stuck with it, but it might be financial considerations that is keeping you very stuck in this relationship, okay? Um, so I do feel some period of reassessment in a major relationship if you're dealing with an air sign. So they themselves could be re-examined this uh, relationship. I feel if you are dealing with an air sign, they might have the, the wandering eyes. They might be a social butterfly. They might be looking outside of the relationship. So I feel like there is some major reassessment uh, in a significant karmic relationship coming through. Okay. I feel as well they might be dra uh, draining your resources. I feel like they might be draining your resources like your financial resources in some way. If it's not a romantic partner, I feel there is some type of a financial drain coming through as a result. Okay. Um, what I'm feeling is this as well. And I'm going to talk about this because this is something that just came through. I feel like if you are a Torian person that is in a marriage situation or in a a uh, long established relationship and you're stepping out on your significant other with an air sign okay and you have like a mister or a missus on the side the mister or the missus is proving to be a little bit more demanding and they are creating a huge major uh, drain on your financial situation so you might secretly have two homes like one for your significant other and one for the other person on the side and I feel that it is creating, like, it's kind of like, you know, life's irony. They are draining your resources. So you might want to reassess. Okay, so that's the message I was getting.
for people that are like somehow financing a mister or a mistress on the side uh, outside of your stable significant relationship all right so that can be it's not going to apply for all but i feel like it's uh serves as a warning to you okay actions and consequences so be very careful and um i, I feel like it's best for you to cut this person loose all right so what's coming through next is we have the prince of um, prince of pentacles which is the knight of pentacles and the high priestess so in terms of your emotional soul development and I saw these and I got the message that, you know, about the mister or the missus. Because the high priestess is usually like concealment. And the prince of pentacles is usually like, this is an earth sign. You are offering uh, something to another person. And somehow you are concealing some type of information. Or they themselves are concealing some type of information from you. I feel like if you are pulling your resources with another person, you need to be very, very clear about the terms of the contract, the terms of the agreement. If you have or if you are signing contracts, you want to make sure they uphold their end of the bargain and make sure you read the fine print because I feel like you're putting it, you're, you're putting everything, you know, that you have out there, but the other person, and it doesn't matter their sign, I feel like you're putting everything on the line and the other person might be hiding something from you in terms of how much financial resources they can front to get some type of project up and running okay this is a good month for you to sign and finalize some projects but I do want you to reassess to make sure that the other person is honest and truthful about all the information that they're giving you I feel some type of uh, concealment and I do feel that it is important for you if you're purchasing a, a big ticket item to read the fine print cover yourself with you know um, I guess like um, cover your bases by being very thorough, scan thoroughly, like thoroughly scan the legal documents, okay? So that's what I'm, I'm sensing here. And I do feel that there is some type of a, it's almost like you're you're offering something up and the other person wants more. It's like they, they want more. And I do feel this might pertain to some type of a blackmail situation, whether it's like with a mister or a missus or with a, um, a work associate. So, so some type of demands. People are making demands on you. And you're, I feel like you're offering it up. You're, you're giving in to their demands. But I don't feel like it's fair for you to do that. Okay, so just make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. So I feel like finances are not a problem. It's just where the, 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 the finances are being diverted. That might be the problem for you. So just, you know, protect yourself accordingly, okay? Make sure you're dealing with righteous people. So we have here the King of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. So first off, the Ace of Pentacles indicates a new revenue stream. This is also a new job. For those of you who have been looking for work in the past, I would say for some reason I, I was getting like six months, you have a new job coming through and it is going to be a really, really good job, possibly a supervisory position or some very lucrative uh, work assignment that might require a little bit of travel. I do feel that you are um, in a position where the 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 supervisor or the manager that you are working under they have a lot of creative ideas they really trust you and I feel that it is really in your best interest to try to impress this person okay I feel that they are trying they are testing you out to see what kind of energy you can bring to the table or to the work environment so it is really important for you not to be modest hype up your skills hype up your assets because i feel like this is a once in a lifetime opportunity it's a new job it's a new revenue stream it's a new location possibly for a lot of you so if you've been you know wanting that job for or, or uh, looking for work and you've been worried about your finances i definitely feel this is a turnaround month for a lot of you um, on the other hand, what I'm sensing is if you are looking for some type of uh, loan, financial assistance, um, financier, some type of, uh, you know, financial backing as well, I do feel that you are going to have to impress some people. I see you in a room. Um, you want to win a contract or you want to win 
some type of a um, an investment opportunity or you're trying to win over some investors and financier you might have something on the table like a an invention you might have something that you've worked very diligently on and it was like your love child and I feel like a lot of you might have for, uh, made a lot of sacrifices in order to improve this one invention or this one product and you're in a room and you're meeting with a lot of like high power you know inventors or backers financial backers and you are in a position where you have to please them so i feel that it is really important for you to hype up your assets and don't be modest okay go all out be bold and you are going to win that lucrative assignment that you've been eyeing now in terms of um spiritual development we do have the death card and the prince of cups Whatever the financial situation is, I do feel it is turning around for the better. So we do have an offer coming through, and I do feel this can be in love, or this can be on a material in a soul level. If Whatever you've been worried about, I do feel there is some type of an offer coming through for you. Um, I also feel that this is a life-changing event as well. And it's interesting, I got the same message for uh, Capricorns. I feel some major, major breakthroughs that they were waiting on, some major contract, some major, um, you know, a very important decision that they're waiting on. And is it's, it's going to cause some major transformations in their own life. So I feel like it might be an earth sign thing. I wasn't getting it so much for Virgo, but I feel like for Capricorns and also uh, for you guys, this is coming in and it's going to be a, a game changer, okay? Something in your life is being um, is being changed for good. Additionally, if you have been dealing with a, a water sign, so this is like um, love offer coming through. If you've been dealing with a water sign and specifically Scorpio comes up very strongly, um... I do feel that there is some transformation in that relationship. So Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio coming in quite strongly with the death card. Um, I definitely see some transformation where you both might part ways or you both might, you know, change the way you relate to one another. I feel like one party growing up and taking care of responsibilities or, or handling themselves a little bit better because you had to tell them and I do feel that somebody is you know growing up and taking responsibilities and um, vowing to do something differently okay if you're dealing with an, an air um, I'm sorry a water sign so I, I do feel some major transformation in a significant relationship coming through as a result and it can be total you know totally like abandoning projects cutting your losses or it could be transformation and working together as a unit and becoming better people as a result. I feel that the maturation process is coming through mutually, but I feel like more so from the other person's end, okay? So very good cards overall, uh, Taurus. So let me see your advice for this month. Okay, so one of the main things is I am taken back to that Mr. Miss, mistress um, situation okay this is a card about an empty victory so this is like a, a swift victory or an empty victory depending on if it's upright or reversed so first of all we do have a situation here that is telling me that you want to be very very patient okay and it's basically a situation where I feel like it might be a love significant love relationship and if you have been dealing with a lot of like disappointment, if you are going around, like for example, if you're an inventor or a writer, you're going around showing people your manuscript, showing people your invention, you're hoping to get some type of financial backing, you're trying to get like some business proposal off the ground, and it's telling me basically to be very, very uh, patient because there is going to be a major breakthrough. So don't give up. Keep keep at it have faith in it and it will pan out the way that you'd hope i do feel that you're dealing with people that might tell you to make some last minute changes or to you know tweak a an invention a book a manuscript something like that so that it can be in alignment with what basically sells i do feel that you might not want to do this but it is in your best interest to make those necessary changes because they do have very very good advice that they're giving you okay so if that pertains to you 
um, just go with the flow and, you know, do whatever is asked of you because I do sense that they know what they're talking about, okay? You might not be too thrilled about doing that. Uh, what I'm also feeling as well is it seems to me almost as if um, for those of you who are single and looking, you're kind of anxious to start new things and like new relationships. And I am just going to, you know, say this and obviously it's not going to apply for all of you, but I feel like for a lot of you, you're kind of like uh, looking in the wrong areas when it comes to love, okay? You value the wrong things and you va you you choose partners that are not um, stable. Like, um, I feel, uh, yeah, I, I, I just can't stress that, that enough. I feel like you, you're choosing, you're, you're emphasizing the wrong things or your emphasis, your requirements for a partner. It needs to be fine-tuned. It needs to be refined so that you're not attracting the wrong people or you're not letting the wrong people into your life, okay? So I do feel some type of a rumination happening for you where you are drawing inward and you're trying to decide, like, you know, what did I do wrong? Why am I attracting the, the wrong kinds of people? Um, so I feel some sadness, some grief associated with the dating front, like disappointment on the dating front. So my advice is this. Write down a list of the qualities that you need in a partner in order to make you happy, okay? I do feel that there might have been some situation where you were valuing somebody for the fun that they can bring into your life. And, you know, when you're looking at, when you're using that kind of criteria, of course, you know, you can't rely on another person to bring fun and excitement into your life. You're supposed to have fun and excitement on your own. You're supposed to be whole on your own in order to attract the right relationship partner. So I feel like in the past, it might have been like, you might have attracted somebody that had a very big ego that made the relationship all about them. They might have been very seductive. They might have been very attractive, very seductive. And they they had you like wrapped around their fingers. That's what I'm feeling. And it was fun while it lasted, but you realize that you ended up very emotionally depleted, okay? And just unfulfilled. I do feel for a lot of you, you were dealing with a lot of... Um, I, I'm going to say this, like just selfish people, like a relationship partner that was very, very selfish. You gave them everything, but I feel that they uh, they held back. And I feel like it might be on the financial front. They either held back their their assets, they swirled away money, they might have held back on their assets, or they might have held back on their affection. And you you felt depleted, okay? For those of you with, you know, the Mr. or the Mrs. or those of you that have willingly put yourself in a position where you were the Mr. or the Mrs., I feel this is the month in which you're starting to realize that you are not emotionally fulfilled and you are checking yourself physically, emotionally, you're cutting off ties and you're no longer playing third party, which is great. And I, I hope that, you know, um, you come to that realization as well sooner rather than later in the future. Third party relationships are never going to work out. Somebody always ends up feeling emotionally depleted. And it is usually the, 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 you know, the third wheel, like the mister or the mistress. All right. So just keep that in mind. Um, so my advice here is cut your losses, move on because you are ending up in a situation where you are very emotionally depleted. Um, one last thing, before we end this, um, I feel that for a lot of you, I feel like you are encountering a situation where you have to rehearse what you need to say. You're dealing with very, very, uh, um, the energy around you. I feel that you're under a lot of scrutiny. I feel like you're under a lot of pressure. The people are very um, intellectual and very like um, unemotional. So you're not going to get by with an emotional uh, speech or an emotional appeal. You are going to get by if you know what you're talking about, if you have like thorough knowledge of a certain topic, okay?